What's up YouTube, it's Sunny Bomb here and welcome back to another My Hero Academia reaction video. It feels so good to say that again. I think it's been about a year almost since the finale of season 4 and you know, COVID hit and whatnot. So it's finally time for season 5. I'm so excited. Love My Hero Academia. Uh, last time, you know, we had the big Endeavor fight uh, against High End no Nomu. And that was uh, awesome and epic. A great way to uh, end the finale. We, like, ended it right there. So I'm not sure if we're gonna, like, you know, show, like, any sort of other aftermath of that. Or if we're just gonna get right into something else. I know we had a little bit of a cliffhanger. Dick Deku had, like, a, a dream about other One for All users, it seemed. And, like... His arm was glowing, so we'll see what th that's about. And uh, judging, I did see a couple trailers. It seems like we're getting into the first thing is Class 1A versus 1B fight. So I am very excited for that. That is all I know. As you guys might know, I do not read the manga, so I'm excited to see what happens next. Um, but right before we get into it, in case you're just like, you know... Here checking on me for because I haven't posted in a while. Yes, other stuff is coming. Uh, you know, Bear Cole Saul. I need to get into that. I've just been lazy, honestly, lazy and just you know behind in things. So I'm sorry. I'm a bad YouTuber. This channel stinks. <laughs> but we, <laughs> but we got to. Uh, uh, we'll get back to it. So without further ado, let's get in to more My Hero Academia. Okay, so yesterday, this is day two. Looks weird when you can't see the red in his hair. It's all white. Ooh. Oh, emergency drill. Oh, new opening? Thanks. Oh, that was a nice one. What? Oh, that was him. I was gonna say, what happened? I, I thought someone got like squished by something. Oh. Oh, he's pulling everyone. Oh, man. I know he's fast, but that's muscle, too. Uh, it's always Bakugo, Kamanoi, and Kirishima. <laughs> I love it. He's playing the uh... <laughs> I can't even talk. The ho the uh, the civilian. Oh, it's Nejure. <laughs> Tomaki too. <laughs> Good job on Class 1A though, because this would be hard to take seriously, it seems. A villain's going home, hostage is like, oh, what happened? 
でも早く一人前のヒーローになれるようできる限りのことをしてやってくれと<笑>だから帰れない解除わかったハガクレさんでしょ中空を屈折、うん、はいチーズハガクレトール Was that it? Was that a harsh doctor right with the shining thing? Nase Utanakata, the men of Amasawa, you know, story in it. Oh, 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 who's driving the car? It's a hit's common. Yo, he. <laughs> He's charging it and he hot wired it. That's awesome. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh, man. I should have gone. <laughs> Yo, relax, Bokovil. What are you doing? <laughs> Yo, everyone's hair. Oh man. Ooh, we got some after crits. Oh, endeavor. Oh. All my to the also, on a Janai disca. She don't eat. She ought to not take a real. You know, you know, so take I know. Oh, my toy eyes. Hajime must take a so Dobby popped out after that. Also, got the nap. Oh, whoa, let's go. Whoa! What's going on? What was that? Alright, so that was episode 1 of season 5 of My Hero Academia. Pretty good one, just kind of like, um, not really a recap episode, because it wasn't, but like, just like, just dipping our toes in, kind of like the last episode where there was that interview thing going on, um, kind of like, when you know all the quirks and everything and just kind of showing where class 1a is uh in my opinion this is gonna start to get a little old in a little bit like i don't know like they keep showing you and acting like you know nothing and like treating treating you like you know it, they re, re, keep reminding you a little too much i think what these characters are and what their quirks are uh granted that might be helpful for some if that's helpful to you then go for that but I, I have been down for a while, who's who, what, like, what quirks they have, and I don't really need this, really, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just glad we have more My Academia, but I'm trying to get into more story, like, that uh, end credit scene, that was probably the best part in the whole thing, uh, the rest of the episode kind of felt a lot similar to the OVA we already got over the summer, and, uh, so it, and maybe that's kind of why I'm kind of like, I'm definitely not bummed about it. Like, I, I, I like the episode. I enjoyed it. I had some good laughs, too, with, uh, the big three pretending to be villains or Mirio's case, the civilian. <laughs> he was spinning just, you could just see his head. That was hilarious. And, of course, Bakugo just uh, goes over the top uh, always. That's always a good laugh, too. But they've, like, started nearly every season with this so far I, i'm not sure about season two i don't think they did in season two they started three with that four and now five so like are we gonna start every season like this like i don't think that's necessary like uh, i don't know maybe that's just me uh but yeah i i don't know maybe some other people need it but um i just, I just don't i don't really think so but of course i could be wrong but for what it was, it was a really good episode, you know, I love, they always, uh, impress me with how much they get everyone involved, because there's so many kids in Class 1A, and they all manage to do at least something. There's, I, I, I don't feel like counting, <laughs> but, uh, uh, there's like, what, 20? 20 Class 1A students, and like, they all seem to do something like uh, me, uh, Uraraka, Mina, and I think Toru, um, Hagakure. Uh, they were, they were teaming up for that one thing to get Mina. Right, Mina was trapped, but before she she got like caught by Nezure, uh, she was she was, they had a plan there, 
Um, but well, I, I'll have to go back and look. Was that like, was that to I'll actually I'll do it right now. Was that Toro uh, with the shining thing? Is that a new move of hers? Is it okay? It looks like it was her. Something warp reflection. I think that might be the first time we're seeing that. I don't remember that. I know they're all working on their moves, but maybe I could uh, be misremembering. But I know that wasn't a thing in season four. It could have been tour at second half of season three with the uh, the license exam, but. I'm not sure. I think that might have been a new thing. That's cool though, because she the only thing she's got going for her is she's invisible. So like I'm glad she's getting something that seems actually rather useful. Like that's damn near like a flashback. But yeah, she did that and like we even got like the Bakugo squad coming in on that car, which that was funny too. Even Kirishima's driving. Um and yeah, everyone at least did like one little thing. And I always loved that because there's 20 people and of course with 20 people in that one class like you know not everyone's gonna get like every moment to shine especially when you have a main character but like it, at least like getting a little bit of something is always really cool like, at least that uh, everyone like shares the spotlight at least for a little bit and uh that's what I do really like about My Hero Academia. I'm not Sky to here and say that it's the only show that's ever done that um but it's done it rather well from everything I watched, and granted, there's still a lot of really popular anime and shows, cartoons and whatnot that I have yet to see, so I could be forgetting something, so I could be praising something that's nothing new, but I don't gotta give credit where credit is due, where I see it. But alright, some good training out of Class 1A aside, uh, that ending thing, we Dobby talking to... Endeavor. Fire v. Fire. I'm gonna get the elephant out of the room. Their common theory that I've saw go around and everyone seems to like is Dobby being a Todoroki himself. So there's always that tension right there. I you know they had like a little like um scene in the movie too of uh Heroes Rising where like they like shot fire at each other so there's always that tension like ooh, like you never know if that ends up being true or not but he did meet up he, he went up to hawks and endeavor at the end of that fight and then after it looks like hawks met up with him i don't know if there's gonna be a confrontation is i of course, when you see something like that, my mind always gets to the possibility of something like Hawks is gonna, like, betray or turn a villain. Um, I don't think that's the case, though. He just being, like, the number four hero. That'd be a twist, though, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen. I have faith in old Hawks, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see that, uh, encounter, if that's what we're going for, if, um... But that's gonna be next or uh it has to be there that was a little bit of a cliffhanger it has to like fill more and fill me more in on that i don't know but i'm here for it and i'm excited for next week when we start really getting into it uh we don't you know we're getting in you know solid class 1a in action let's see how they handle class 1b if that stop that's probably there's probably gonna be some build up to that it's not just gonna get right into it but uh, i know that is the next like phase the next arc we are getting into and that's going to be pretty exciting but i think that's gonna do it for me that's about all i have to say i'm just excited what will dobby have to say to hawks what will hawks have to say to dobby was there anything more to that encounter with endeavor and dobby um was, is there any fight that they omitted uh, well, Endeavor will be alright. I think he said he's not in critical condition. He's just healing up, but he does seem pretty bad damaged. And what is next for Class 1A leading into Class 1B fight? Hopefully, we'll get more of this next time. But for now, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like or dislike, subscribe or don't subscribe. You know it's always up to you. I will see you guys in the next video you watch of me. 
good bye the tango i can feel him try to grab me by the ankles i can hear him all start to say my name oh but it's not about the money or the fame no no it's all about me just doing my thing yo